All right, quick video for my new Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins high output, eight foot bed, installing a 35,000 pound Kurt Hitch gooseneck. Uh, did not need to move the exhaust pipe. It did make it a lot easier to remove the heat shield and the spare tire just when you get under here. Didn't even have to jack the car up. Uh, I used the exhaust pipe to rest the Kurt gooseneck on top, kind of like a third hand, and then just shove this up in here. Put that bolt in first, then this one. This hole is a good place to just hang the bolt. So you can lock that in there. There's also a hole over here. A good place to just hang the bolt. So when you're upside down, trying to push the, the gooseneck in, you can just reach over, grab the bolt, and throw it in. Uh, not having it on a lift makes that makes it a little easier from the ground to the floor, unless you got like super long arms. Uh, a little longer than my wingspan, uh, so I just put like a couch cushion down here. It's pretty comfortable. Uh, couple things to note uh, I did loosen this up there is a bolt on the inside I don't know if you can see that and there is a wire with a little rubber boot so if I can get that out clearer for you This wire just comes out. You're going to want to pull this out of the metal because the washer that's on the other side, uh, you, got, you just want to be careful with this because if you put the, the uh, bolt, Other side. Okay, that washer will catch this wire if you didn't remove it. And I caught it luckily before I started tightening down. But you don't want to pinch this wire. Looks like it ties in or feeds in to here. The uh, axle housing, or not the, the pumpkin. ties into into the pumpkin um, probably whatever transmission fluid or wherever it comes from probably circulates or something I don't know but whatever it does yeah, just be careful like I said when you're installing that one. There. Hopefully that was a good picture of it.
haven't tightened these down yet. I measured my crescent wrench. I got them kind of tight, but not to the 320 pound uh, torque spec. Don't really care about the 320. I'm just going to throw the uh, old half inch impact driver on there and let it have some fun. Uh, but this is, uh, it, it looks like this is probably a 28 inch. Uh, my socket set only goes up to 24. Haven't been able to find the socket, so I gotta go uh, one of the big box stores and look for a 28, probably buy like a 27, 28, 29, whatever, just to be on the safe side. But this appears to be a 28 inch. And I think, the, I'm pretty sure the nut on the other side is also a 28, not 28 inch, 28 millimeter. Um, when you're putting on that blue plastic ring, if you take like a little piece of tape and fold it over itself, double side it, and just stick it on the underside of the that uh, patent pending uh, Kurt ring, they should make it with like like a little glue strip on it. There's a little extra thing for you to add to your patent. Uh, because when you're turning this to try and angle it to get it in over these wires, like I said, if you take down, there's a screw on. Try and get a picture of this screw over here on this side. There, you can see it up the bottom there. It's uh, on top. That is a 13 millimeter. The uh, heat shield for the tire to protect the tire from the exhaust. That is 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and then uh, 10 millimeter and 10 millimeter. If you don't have one of these, like flexi things I recommend getting at it just it makes this this uh, hole here getting to this hole here a lot easier I mean you could probably do it with without a flexible extension but this one over here like I said if you're not taking the exhaust down this is super helpful to get to that one uh, like I said these ones came out no problem and like I said these are all 10 mil these are 10 mil. Uh, this one on, on this piece of metal that I showed you earlier, that's 13 mil. And these are 28 mil, I'm pretty sure. Um, but that's what I'm about to go buy. And that, like I said, that's all I took off. I wasn't really interested in separating my exhaust and then pulling my exhaust you know a foot or two to this side and possibly upsetting something up front this is my first diesel I'm just you know baby it for a while so i'm sure some people are out there like yeah just just send it you know but like i said i didn't want to take the exhaust apart and start shaking stuff and and moving stuff and ratcheting and pulling so like i said you don't need to take this off to get this in here it goes in pretty easy without removing this and like i said you can use the the exhaust as a support uh, but that's just a quick video my kid was curious as to what a cross member is and that's this bar that runs across buddy this is a this is the frame, you know, going from front to back on the vehicle, and the cross member just stops the the twisting of the the bed of the truck, it creates stiffness. That's just it's welded in onto the cross members. I mean, onto the uh, onto the frame. So that's your cross member. This is where you're mounting the gooseneck. I already drilled the hole. Like I said, that little blue plastic tab, you just got to, you know, keep poking until you you get to the, the center. And you'll know because you can shake it left and right and 
you know, it's not going anywhere. Uh, again, this was helpful. You know, just put that up in there because my drill bit wouldn't fit on on my drill. Like the uh, by the time I got to the chuck, like it just it wasn't far enough. Was gonna try this for my eleven sixteenths, but it just it just touches metal, and the battery's kind of in the way. I think maybe if I put an extension on there. I could probably get away with this, uh, but I ordered an 11 16th and it should be here tomorrow, so I think I'll just be patient. Uh, but just drill the holes in here, here, and the same thing on the other side, and then you can put in the the chain retention U-bolts. Uh, they just come down here, put a washer, spring, a washer combination, and a a nut and that keeps them level but yeah I'm liking it so far I uh, did this by myself didn't have any help didn't have a, any extra hands around and uh, went to price out getting the fifth wheel gooseneck prep package installed and it was like over two thousand dollars I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. I was able to get my hands on the Kurt Hitch uh, on Amazon. I think they had like 520 and somebody was, uh, well, I guess Amazon was selling an uh, open box one for 460 And then, you know, saving, you know, $1,600, $1,700, figured I'd splurge get myself a nice hole saw kit with all the bits or most of the bits you know you never get all the bits but 28 piece hole saw kit uh, Home Depot had one online when I went to the store they didn't have one that had the hole saw bit for that there um so i had to order it online but it was a decent price online already had some uh smaller bits but you guys kind of get the point i uh, appreciate you watching the video as always hit the like hit the subscribe button it helps out the channel and uh if you need any help installing one of these Kurt hitches hopefully this answers some of the questions because I watched a couple of videos nobody's telling you you know you need a 28 mil uh, socket nobody's mentioning you know move this out of the way pull this out and be careful like I said the the washer can catch this wire if this is installed here uh, like I said, that's 13 mil on the other side. Uh, one of those uh, bendable. I don't know if it's in here. But I got one of those ratchets that are flexy. There she is. This makes that job so much easier. If you, if you can do that, getting up there and then working it. Uh, if your vehicle is newer, you can just grab the head of the screw once you get it loose and just turn the 
the tip of the screw. Um, but that's all the, the tips and tricks I got for installing a gooseneck hitch after going through it. Like I said, didn't have to jack it up. Actually, jacking it up would have probably made it a little bit more difficult. Well, I mean, I, I could have probably, I guess, bent over and, like, curled up. But wasn't trying to do that after I watched the one guy with his, uh, you know, throw his shoulder out trying to put in the curt hitch. It's like, yeah, no. Well, so, like I said, an old, old couch cushion or something. Throw it down. You know, some some uh, floor mats. Don't even got to jack it up. Easy install. Save yourself fifteen hundred bucks, and uh, Kurt's a pretty good name. Brand. In case you're wondering how to get to removing the tire, there's just a the access way, and you can kind of look through there and. Go about lowering the tire. And now that I got that hole drilled, I can put the tire and the heat shield back. Don't think that I will need that space for drilling those holes. But again, appreciate you watching the video.